to my channel. Today we are going to do a video that I have been trying to do for like a couple weeks now, but it hasn't really worked. Uh, we are going to go through all of the books that I want to unhaul, and then we are going to go around to little free libraries and disperse them all over the place. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this video for a couple weeks now because it's just, you know, I feel like with the new year I should unhaul some books that I know I'm not going to read or that I didn't enjoy because I have a very extensive physical TBR. Uh, if you've seen the video that I posted you know and if you haven't you should go look at that because it's astounding how many books I have but lots of books. So I wanted to start trying to get better at unhauling books that I just am not interested in anymore or have read and didn't enjoy. The reason it's taking me so long to do this video is uh, because I had to go through all the books, but also because it has been disgusting outside in true January fashion, and I was holding out hope for a day that was just a little bit nicer. And we are now almost at the end of the month. They've been sitting in piles for a while now, and I'm just not holding out hope anymore. So. We're doing this today. It's a little gloomy out. It's a little rainy, but it is what it is. So we're going to go through the books really quick for you guys, and then we are going to go look for some free libraries. So first, we have Horton Here's a Who. I think my Nana got me this as like just a joke because my dog's name is Horton. I don't really have a desire to have a children's book. I don't have kids. And like, I just, I don't need this. So we're getting rid of that. And then we have Down These Mean Streets by Peary Thomas, I think is how you pronounce his name. I don't remember why I bought this. I bought this on a whim. I feel like I saw a quote somewhere. I was like, oh, that sounds so good. Like, the book must be really good. And then I started it, and I didn't really enjoy it. And I have no desire to pick it back up again and try to get through the rest of it. So that is going. Then we have Island of Vice, as well as The Devil in the White City. These are both more, like, historical non-fiction books. They tell different stories. Like this one is about Chicago and this is about uh, Theodore Roosevelt and sort of trying to clean up uh, New York. I love history and there was a bit of a moment there where I was buying a lot of books like this because of my love for history but I don't know I've since gravitated away from reading books like these. I still enjoy learning about history. I just can't seem to get myself through these. So I'm, I'm going to part ways with those. And then we have Good Hunting. This is, it says it's an American Spymaster story. I think I started reading this and it was just very slow and very dull to try to get through. And that was a few years ago and I have never picked it up since. So we're not, not keeping that anymore. And then we have Geez, quite a few like inspirational self-help books. Uh, we have 13 Things That Mentally Strong Women Do. Uh, we have Blessed Are the Misfits, uh, Settle for More. Like some of these were given to me. Some of these are ones that I bought on my own and I just don't want them anymore. I actually have, God, I have a few more in here too. I have Loving Bravely, Anxiety and Relationships, Leading with the Heart, like obviously as you could tell like I had a moment there a few years ago where I was struggling with a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression surrounding some work related concussions. My mental health just wasn't great, my relationships because of that weren't great and I was trying to find something to hold on to and grasp. Uh, so that led to buying a lot of these books. And some of them really helped in the time that I needed them, but now I don't really, I don't really need them anymore. So we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna clear them out. Then we have, actually this is another one that's sort of like a history one. It's called Blood and Thunder. It is an epic story of Kit Carson and the conquest of the American West. Like I said, it's on a little bit of a kick there. Then we just have some random ones. This is called Bulletproof Spirit. This was given to me by, Somebody in our department, I think they gave these books to like everybody. Somebody donated them. It's the first responders essential resource for protecting and healing the mind and heart. 
obviously a good premise, but I just don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. And then I have Stephen King on writing. This is his book about his writing process and tips for people that want to get into writing. I went to college for an English degree. That was one of my majors. And I uh, keep telling myself that I'm going to eventually start writing a book, but I have severe, severe anxiety over that and just like the imposter syndrome and all that. So, you know, I keep buying books like that because I keep thinking they're going to somehow convince me to actually start this and anyway. Then we have Jazz White by James Elroy. This was in a, like, um, what do they call them? A blind date with a, with a book. It's not interesting to me at all. It's not appealing to me at all. So we're getting rid of that. And then we have Agatha Christie, Remember Death, Mary Higgins Clark, Where Are You Now? And Agatha Christie and Mills Knight. Those are just duplicates that I accidentally, obviously bought a second one and didn't realize that I had the first ones. There are just so many books by those authors that I sometimes lose track of the ones that I already have. So that is, that's what that is. I, I just have another copy. I don't need a second one. Then we have Once Upon a Broken Heart. Once Upon a Broken Heart. Do not come for me. I adore this book. I just got the hardcover instead to match the third book. So I'm getting rid of the paperback version. Then we have Alice in Wonderland. I read it. I don't think I'm ever going to read it again. It just wasn't really my thing. So you can find a new poem. And then we have Killer Listing. This is another one that I read last year that it was just like a murder mystery. It wasn't bad. It just isn't one that I'm going to most likely read ever again. So. And then we have Ashante and Everything That Burns. This is a duology. I did not like Everything That Burns. And for that reason, I'm probably just never going to go back and read either of these books again. So they're going to find new homes. But yes, that is it. That is my massive stack of books that we are going to rehome. I'm going to try and put three or four in each uh, little free library. And hopefully that won't take too long. Also, I normally try to grab like a book because I, I'm like, oh, you know, give a book, take a book. I'm leaving four. I can take one. Because my TBR is so long, I am going to try not to grab too many books. Uh, if there's one that like I know the author or I know the book and I'm really excited about it, I might grab that one in exchange for the ones that I leave behind, but I'm not going to be, like, I call it window shopping. Like, I'm not going to be looking at them going, oh, this is a pretty cover, let's read the back, or oh, I'm just going to grab it because of the cover or the, the description. We're not doing that, so. Hopefully that will limit the amount of books that I add to my TBR. So let's get going on the adventure. So it is actually a new day. <laughs> Very shortly after I filmed my last clip yesterday and was starting to get myself ready, it started absolutely pouring. And then I had work. And then when I came home from work, it was still too dark to decide to do this. So we're doing it now. <laughs> it is the next day. But it is actually sunny today. And I can go outside without a heavy coat on. So I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm actually so happy. Like, this is doing so much for my mood. I get very down when it's dark and gloomy. So this is, this is a great great start to my weekend. I'm very excited about that. But anyway, let's go uh, see what we can find. Like I said, I tend to scope out the little free library. Sorry. The little free libraries when I'm at work, I, I just, ca they catch my eye uh, while I'm working. So there are a couple new ones that I think I've seen that I'm excited to try. The problem is I got to remember where they're at. So could be interesting. We've arrived at the first little library <laughs> and oh my god traffic today is just insane. I think everybody else is just as excited as I am about the nice weather and they're all like here we go we're gonna go outside. <sighs> anyway I think for this one we will drop off four books so we'll do we'll keep 
duology together. So we'll do these two, Ashante and everything that burns. And then we'll throw in some self-help. We'll do the anxiety and relationships and leading with the heart. I had to talk to somebody. <laughs> I've never actually had anybody like see me uh, using one of these little libraries or I mean people see me in the general sense of like they're passing by but it's not normally the people that own it and I guess this one is technically um, run, hosted, whatever by a church and <laughs> the guy <laughs> I guess he was a pastor. I don't know. He had like one of the white collars on. He was like, oh, oh thank you for using my, my our little free library. And I'm like, crap, I really hope you didn't just see me filming because that's really awkward. Like, I was like, yeah, I've, I've used it a couple times. It's great. And I'm like, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I am very glad now that I didn't put something weird in that, in that little free library. Like, could you imagine if I had put like, I don't know, like haunting Adeline or something like that? And he went over and looked out of curiosity to see what I put in there. Ugh, that'd be mortifying. That'd be mortifying. I actually just found a new one. I was in, uh, driving to one of the ones that I know about, because I figured, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the ones that I know for sure where they are first, and then we'll wander around trying to find the other ones that I've seen recently. And I found a new one, and I'm so excited about this. There looks like it, there looks like, that's not good English. It looks like there's a lot in it. I'm just waiting to go over to it, because there's a woman standing there. Uh, perusing through all of the books, which good for her, but yeah, actually I might not have noticed it if she hadn't been standing there, but I'm kind of excited about this. I think we'll pick out which books we're gonna put in this one while she stands there. It's, it's almost a shame, like, I kind of want to be like, hey look, I have, I have some others that I'm adding, but at the same time, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll do, I think we'll only do three, because that one really looked quite full. So we'll do Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Blood and Thunder, and Killer Listing. And we will see if there are any in there that I recognize. Obviously, since I didn't tell you guys, uh, the last one did not have any books in it that met my criteria for me to exchange for, which is okay. That's okay. our next one and I already actually see the one that we're gonna go to after that because it's like across the road and I've never seen that one before either it's amazing how many I can see when it's actually daytime not really dark out I should really start mapping these I could make my own map of the city with these that'd be so anyway anyway <laughs> you guys don't care about that um, so we're gonna give once upon a broken heart Stephen King's on writing and bulletproof spirit and you know what We'll throw in Horton here too. <laughs> so, let's go see what this one is. Oh, perfect. It has some kids' books in it already, so it won't be that weird to leave that. I actually used to have this. I never read it, so I'm not going to grab it again, but I did used to have it. So we'll just tuck. Oh boy. Bro, you're too big. You're too big. We're gonna tuck that there, and we'll put those right there. I've officially hit the point 
where I'm driving in circle. Oh, huh. I, okay. This is why I don't try to talk while I'm while I'm driving because any sudden movements, my camera goes whoo. But I was literally just saying like this is the point where I am now just driving randomly looking for the ones that I saw one night, and I found one. This is great. This is great. So we'll grab four books for this one. We've got Jazz White, Down These Mean Streets, Blessed Are the Misfits, and 13 Things Mentally Strong Women Do. I am curious what the 13 things are, but not curious enough to read it. I'm going to wait for the moment that I randomly pull over super fast because I see one of these and the person behind me has no idea what I'm doing and it ends really badly because I feel like that could happen. That's not out of the question. But anyway, here we go. This one's really full too. Goodness. Nora Roberts. My mom likes Nora Roberts, but I've never read any of her books. See, a couple of these are like Christmassy ones that I would normally grab, but we're behaving, so I'm not going to do that. All right, nothing in there, so we'll just tuck those in there. And I think we have enough books for one, one more library. We've officially arrived at our final one. There was one before this that I saw, but the family was literally getting out of their car and I was like, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. That's going to be awkward. So we went and found a different one. So this one, I think it's going to get five books. That's how many I have left. So we have Agatha Christie's Remember Death, Mary Higgins Clark, and then another Agatha Christie, and then Settle for More and Good Hunting. That is it for another little free library hunting experience. I found a couple new ones, found a couple old ones that I enjoy going to, and shockingly enough, did not find any books to bring back with me, which is not a bad thing. Like there were definitely some in there that I probably would have grabbed if I was willing to just grab random ones, but we stuck to our parameters and I am, I'm proud of me, I will say. So <laughs> yes, at some point I'm gonna figure out how to like, secure my camera so that I can talk to you guys while I'm driving or whatever because I feel like that would be fun but I don't know when that's gonna happen and as you guys saw we go spinning currently so <laughs> maybe in the next one I do want to keep doing these for you guys if I get a decent amount of books to unhaul that way it's it's worth it I'm not gonna do this for just like one or two but if I come up with more throughout the year I will accumulate them and eventually we will try to do another video for this because I know that you guys like watching these. I like filming them. It's kind of fun going around the city and seeing what I can find. So yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another chaotic video by yours truly. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed and you keep coming back, you might as well hit that subscribe button, guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what else you want to see from me, and I will see you guys the next time. Bye!